a new source alert. Collegiate and professional football players are now speaking publicly and bringing attention to the dangers of football. The result? Parents across the country are now questioning whether or not to enroll their child in football. The big question is when should kids start playing tackle football? And the easy answer is that nobody really knows. The nation's largest youth football program, Pop Warner, has seen almost a 10% decrease in registration in the last few years. The organization's chief medical officer named head injuries the number one cause. Sports medical physician Michael Keister says normally we think of kids as bouncing back from injuries quicker. But when it comes to head injuries, that's not the case. When it comes to brain injuries like concussions, not only may they be a little bit more vulnerable, to that injury, it often takes them longer to get better than adults. The football scare doesn't seem to be worrying the masses locally. Bev Smith from Kids Sports says they've seen an increase in tackle football registration this year compared to last. The reality is, is you can get a concussion anywhere. Michelle Filippo has both her eighth and tenth grade boys playing the game. Granted, this is a very physical sport, but for me, the the benefits. Outweigh it so much. They are part of something. They are part of a community. They, they it keeps them in school. Bev says instead of bashing football, we should be looking at preventative tactics. Watching a lot of children, their ability to change direction, to change speed, is very compromised because they don't have physical education in schools to help them be athletically prepared. So maybe we try to provide them with programs that teach those fundamental movement and motor skills before we put them into pads and helmets. Dr. Keister says concussions normally last. Around two to three weeks. He says the main concern isn't with a child's first concussion, but when they've received a number of blows to the head. Dr. Keister says when it comes to kids, concussions, and the long term effects those hard blows have on their developing brains, we don't know much. He says the reason is there's a lack of research in that department.